Hey subbies! I'm here to review a book called Shiloh by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. This book also has two other books with it, Shiloh Season and Saving Shiloh. And Shiloh and Saving Shiloh have also been made into two movies as well. The book Shiloh starts out with Marty and his family, his mother and his father. And they all live in this really nice house that has definitely been built with lots of love. And they do try to do what they can to be able to live a comfortable life. But for Marty, who's a young 12-year-old boy, he wants more. And what he wants is a dog, but his parents said that they just, they don't have the time for a dog, they don't have the money for a dog, they just don't have the time in their lives for a dog. But as things tend to happen, a dog found its way into Marty and Marty's family's life. And Marty does everything he can for this dog. He keeps it hidden because he knows that the dog belongs to someone because of just how clean the dog looks, how well fed the dog looks, that this dog has to belong to somebody. And that somebody that this dog belongs to is one of the neighbors up the road named Judd Travers. Judd is a horrible mean man, which isn't helped by his excessive drinking. And he doesn't have the kindest heart towards animals, so Marty feels extremely emotional and just connected that Shiloh should be his own dog and not have anything to do with Judd Travers because Judd Travers doesn't know what to do with dogs, doesn't know how to treat them, doesn't know that animals are family. That they're not meant to just work and hunt birds and animals in the woods. And so Marty keeps Shiloh hidden whenever Shiloh escapes from Judd's because Shiloh knows that he doesn't belong at Judd's. He belongs with Marty and his family. And so Marty builds this homemade doghouse for Shiloh and will bring him table scraps from his house and starts working at a general store sweeping up after the day to be able to get some pocket money to be able to provide for Shiloh, to give him a collar, to give him some pet food, and to provide for him the best that he can because he wants to prove to Judd that Shiloh deserves to be with Marty and his family because Marty and his family have love for Shiloh and Marty wants to be able to take care of Shiloh. It is an absolutely amazing, heartwarming book. I highly suggest that you check out this book, Shiloh, by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor, and also check out the entire trilogy by reading Shiloh Season and Saving Shiloh. I really hope that you enjoyed this book review for Shiloh by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor just as much as I did. I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up, Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my amazing, fantastic, wonderful, fun videos that I have to share. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I don't want you to miss out on any of them. I would love it if you would follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Comedy Creation. I love to share library hauls, book reviews, and fantastic food photos. Be sure to also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is Comedy Addict. I love to play hashtag games, but what I love even more is being able to interact with each and every one of you incredibly inspirational individuals. Your tweets mean the world to me, and I treasure every one of them. The newest addition to my social media is my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Papa Apple. I share my newest YouTube videos on there as well as book reviews, so be sure to give the page a like. All of my social media can be found in the description box down below, and I'd love for you to follow me. I can't wait to see you in the next video, subbies. Until then, sensational smiles go for miles. Be sure to subscribe and stay a while. See you in the next video. Bye, subbies.